Today, I'm going to explain to you why you need to pay your property tax and how to calculate your property tax. What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, your local incredible realtor with EXP Realty. Today, I'm going to explain to you why you need to pay your property tax and how to calculate your property tax, okay? Because some people or some home buyer doesn't even know what is property tax and why you need to pay that. And, and the most important thing, how to calculate property tax before buying the property. Because sometimes you think the property price is very low and he doesn't know like the property tax is high. And that's why when you are paying your mortgage, your monthly mortgage will be like oh it's really high you know so you need to make sure that you know these details as well because this is important all right but before i start this video if you're new to my channel welcome please subscribe and also the most important thing you know that smash that like button for me and share this video to all family and friends especially for those people who doesn't know about property tax before buying the property anyway all right so without further ado let's jump into it first what is property tax okay property tax is very important especially if you're a homeowner if you're not paying your property property tax what will happen to your property is the government or the local authority they will put some lien in your property what is lien okay this lien it means like you didn't pay something in the government while owning this property so let's say if you want to sell this property in about five years or ten years from now once you bought this property they will check your records okay and if they found the record that you don't pay property tax since you bought this property what will happen is you cannot sell this property until you pay this lien okay or else you can sell this property still and you need to pass this lien amount to the next owner okay so you need to think about that one property tax is the same thing when we are paying our taxes so when we're buying some stuff we pay taxes all right if we buying some clothes we're buying some shoes if we're buying some something for our personal need we always pay taxes the same thing if you have a property you need to pay your property tax and you might ask what government or the local authority use this property tax when you pay so for example roads in highway so to make sure the roads in highway are smooth when you're driving there and they use the money or the budget is from the property tax you pay for so basically what they use for property tax is for public works okay to support our public needs all right so that's what's the purpose of property tax also before I forget i am not a tax advisor or any tax person i'm just saying this because this is part of my service when i am helping my buyer client especially the first time home buyer clients which doesn't know about property tax because sometimes when you are planning to buy a property you only look at the price of the property you doesn't think about the property tax you doesn't think about the hoa you doesn't think about the cdd all right and the home insurance and so on all right but the most important thing that you need to pay first is your proper tax because if you don't pay the property tax i'm telling you the local government won't be happy about you and you will get a lot of letters and saying like you need to pay this if you don't pay this you will have some consequences in the future all right we don't want that one all right so let's talk about how to find the property tax okay and how to calculate at the same time so i will give you some details where i am servicing right now i am servicing in central florida and i have like four different counties that I serve with okay let me just explain to you first the first county that I serving with is Polk County here in Polk County we have like different city like Davenport, Kane City, Winter Haven those city are my service area here in Polk County however I also service in Lake County okay like Claremont, South Claremont, Winter Garden all that stuff they are located in Lake County and more which I service that area too and also I service Orange County and Osceola County which is located the Orlando area and Kissimmee area and so on. All right. So basically, this is like in Central Florida where the Disney World located at. Okay. Just remember, if you think me, think about Disney World. I am I am there. All right. That's my place where I service and help my clients to buy or sell property.
property here, right? So you need to remember that one. So let's say you want to buy a property here in Polk County and then you find the property which I said before in Davenport, okay? Davenport is nice place anyway. I sold like two properties there so far and they are new construction. They are really happy about the property and also, you know, I'm not saying about more about Davenport but they are more affordable houses there as well. So let's get back to the top. So once you pick a property in Davenport area, for example, and then you need to find out like how much the property or the property tax will be on this pillar area. So here is my one tip that you need to go. You need to go to the Polk County appraisal website, okay? You need to take note of this because if your realtor is really good, he will tell you how to do this one and he will show you how much property tax or estimated property tax for this property that you want to buy, okay? So once you go to the Polk County appraisal website, which I said earlier, you need to get the parcel number or the ID number on the MLS, okay? Remember this one. You need to go to MLS, you need to go to the listing, and then they will have there the taxes ID or the taxes information. You need to get that information. There are like several numbers and letters, like a long letters on the listing, and they will give you that number, and then you will copy and paste this number to the property website or property appraisal website in Polk County. And then once you copy and and paste this one you will see there in the website find the parcel ID or the property tax for this particular property okay so once you find this parcel number boom they will give you your property tax this property tax is only estimated okay so what will happen is you will see like a mileage rate and also the numbers like five point something two point something three point something or 0.5 something okay all you need to do is go to the all of that mileage and you need to add all those mileage so once you add those mileage you will get the total mileage of this property or they call it mill rate for this property okay normally here in Polk County the mileage of the property it depends on how big it is and where it's located at okay but as far as I've been doing this for so many times I found like normal mileage here in Polk County is around between 15 to 20 that's the mileage okay so let's say we'll give some example for a property here in Lake County I mean in Polk County County and then I will give you some numbers so you will understand something okay so let's say a property is costing you 400,000 this is only example okay 400,000 property and let's say as I said earlier the mill of the property is important let's say the mill or the mileage of the property is let's say 15 so how to get the property tax is you don't get the exact price of the property all you need to do is the 80% of the value of the property or assess value so this is only for example okay 400,000 times 0.8% that's 80% you see it equals 320,000 so most likely the 320,000 that's where you get your mileage what I'm talking about so what is the mileage of let's say the 300,000 times 0 0.015 which is the 15 I said earlier for example so your property tax per year will be 4,800 okay so for that 400,000 property you are most likely paying 4,800 for a year or if you want to pay that like monthly you need to divide that by divided by 12 and that's you're gonna pay monthly 400 okay and if this property has a HOA or CDD you need to add them whatever the HOA is let for example HOA is $50 a month let's say plus $50 you're gonna pay $400 I mean $450 including your HOA and the property tax monthly okay I hope that makes sense sometimes if you have some CDD as well for example some properties here or community here has CDD of $2,000 a year so let's say $2,000 divided by 12 equals 166 okay plus the 450 remember before equals $616 that you need to pay that's included your property tax your HOA and the CDD of thousand a month I mean a year all right so this is is very important sometimes people doesn't know how to calculate this or how to do this way and you need to think about not just about the price of the property you need to think about as well the property tax HOA or the CDD and also the PMI if you have the PMI in your mortgage and all that stuff and make sure you can afford it before buying this property some people think oh I can afford this this is only I need to pay you need to make sure that you are in details before buying this property they are saying before you're going to the war make sure 
that you are fully prepared to win the war. Alright? So this is the video for today. I hope this video is helpful and useful. If you stay in this video until this end, comment down below property tax so I can see how many people who watch this video and I truly, truly appreciate your time watching my video. I know I'm talking too much so I'll end my video for now. I'll talk to you on my next video. Peace! What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista. Before I start this video, I just want to say, look in my subscribe button. What? <laughs> subscribe button. <laughs> subscribe logo. How cool is that? It's nice, right? <laughs> but let's do the next video. <laughs>